guys and welcome back to let's play the sims 3 trevino legacy challenge season number two part numero 50 yes we are halfway to 100 so i do have a headache today um i am going to be pre-recording a few videos um just because i'm going to winthrop for thanksgiving i'm sure a lot of you will be out of town but for those who aren't and are staying home and would like some videos to watch um this this is definitely for you guys. I did want to let you know that a couple of things have changed in my channel or on my channel. First things first, um, I did get a webcam, so I will be doing the occasional face cam in my videos from time to time. It's not going to be something that's going to be all the time. Um, also, I did have my very first ever Twitch stream, um, and it was basically an opportunity for me to test out my webcam and also get to know you guys a little bit more. We had such a freaking blast I do apologize for all those who didn't make it um, it was very short notice very spur of the moment and again it was just to test out my webcam it was originally supposed to be a 15 minute stream but actually turned out to be over an hour because I had so much fun with you guys the turnout rate was pretty good I think in my opinion I don't know what you know good numbers are but you know I had over 300 people with me and it was just exciting to get to know you guys and have you all ask me questions and we laughed together and it was just really 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 cool I'm not gonna lie I was a little nervous um, but the fact that I felt so at home with you guys and I felt like I was talking I didn't even feel like I was live that was the weird thing it felt like I was just filming like normally but I was interacting with you guys or like interacting with a friend or it was just the weirdest feeling ever like it didn't feel like I was being put on the spot it didn't feel awkward um, I felt stupid because I didn't know how to use Twitch but y'all helped me and it was great everyone was really positive and it was just awesome and you guys seemed to really like it so I definitely will be doing it again um, but this time I will be giving you guys short notice. I was thinking about doing it this Friday, so the day after Thanksgiving. Um, but again, it would be so spur of the moment because I'm not coming home till late night on Thursday. And I don't know if I'll have time to tell you guys on Friday. And I also have to record on Friday. So, I mean, I don't know how it's going to work, to be frank. But if I don't get it done on this Friday... I probably will stream like another face stream where you get to meet me um, next Thursday and then maybe I'll start doing like you know like game streams or I don't know I'll figure it out but I just really wanted the webcam mostly for doing face cams on my sims videos occasionally so anyways um, I just wanted to give you guys that quick heads up so we're gonna go ahead and jump in I added in the boardwalk to um, our world I also changed up our house a little bit kind of reminds me of an old 70s house um, I'm not gonna lie it definitely does but the backyard's a little different it kind of looks like a damn maze I don't know how I feel about it but I mean for now it's okay um, this is what we got going on back here and actually and to be honest, I really don't like these guys too much, like right here. I don't know. I just don't like it right there. I guess over here is okay. Um, and I'm probably going to open up this part. And then, um, so we got a lot of little toys for the girls and, and things like that. We also have a little slip and slide because it's beautiful and Lucky Palms always. It's sunny and therefore it kind of makes sense to have like water stuff. And they have the money, so why not? You know what I mean? Like there's, I mean, we're going to save it. Um, and, and keep building to our house, but um, for the most part, you know, we're trying to save our money, and I wanted to kind of upgrade a little bit. So here is the house. On the inside, we have L-shaped stairs. Everything's pretty much the same. Go upstairs, we have just kind of like one empty big bedroom. Um, we can always expand, and then um, we have a bathroom here, which will be functional, actually. I should probably make this functional just because, you know, we kind of do have a lot of sims in the house and it would be really really awesome and helpful to kind of put in like a bathtub or something upstairs let me see where i can find one at um so then that way we can watch the pair perritos pa i was gonna call them parrots yeah because we, we're gonna watch parrots jen uh yeah anyways don't mind me don't mind it don't just just don't <laughs> um but yeah super whopping large headache i don't know what it is lately but I've been getting headaches pretty bad, um, and I wanted to film, but 
normally when I film, I'm like, I'm berserk. I'm crazy. And y'all know, now you really know from my stream how crazy I can get. So imagine, you know, I'm totally probably going to give myself a fat headache if I get all nuts. So I'm going to try to be calm as possible, but it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's so hard. Um, no, 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 no. Poor Rihanna. Anyway, I do like the way the house is turning out. I kind of like the fact that it's different. It does have that 70s vibe, I guess. It's just not your traditional, normal looking house by any means. And I like that. I do. So we're just going to kind of go with it. And over time, I'm sure it's going to get better. It's going to look nicer. Um, and all of that jazzy fizzle. Um, I'm trying to find some stuff to put in the bathroom. But everything, it's not looking right. It's really not looking right. It ain't looking right. Mm-mm-mm. Boo-boo. <laughs> Ooh. Just kidding. Because I, I really can't wait for you guys to see my face cams because my face right now is all sorts of like 50 ways, 50 ways to cry. Okay, whatever, Jennifer. Forget it. But let's just go ahead and play. The girls are downstairs. I think they're working on homework. Today was like their first kind of day at school. Um, now that the girls are much larger, actually, as we go back into buy mode that we just came out of, I'm going to put this in here. Um, um, it's not being used by Felicity Trevino. Girl, bye. Uh, but we do need to put in some new chairs. That way, everybody can sit at the table, Jen. Okay, it's a family house now. Um, Basil should be, I think she should be having her baby soon, or no? She's definitely showing, but, uh, I don't think she's going to be having this baby. Actually, she might. She, she's not really, like, that puffy. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right way to describe it, but she's really not too, too puffy. Um, my frame rates are really low right now. This is kind of weird. I don't know what's going on, but we'll just have to get through um, through it in this part here. Frame rates are dropping. I might have some stuff open in the background that I wasn't really aware of, so we'll just kind of deal with it. Um, hopefully, it's not too bad. Um, I've learned to let a lot of, a lot go when it comes to the Sims 3. Like, I'm not as picky anymore. I'm really not. It's just like, you know, it is what it is. I mean, come on. <laughs> I swear, you spend more time fixing this game than you do playing it. And I have not even really tried to fix it or anything. I'm just like, okay, well, you know, it is what it is, you know? Don't stress yourself out about stuff. You can't fix it. And did he just scare himself? I don't think so. Uh, let's have the girls go to sleep, by the way. Um, I think she's done. Phyllis is done with her homework. She's going to go to bed as well. Um, she's going to not ask for a bedtime story because we're not doing it. Which, which bed is... Okay, Felicity. And then this is going to be... Um, let's see. Farrah's, Farrah's bedroom. Okay. And Basil is taking a nice warm bath here. She's very, 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 very sore, I'm sure, from being pregnant. Um, and she actually got the want to marry Donovan. And I kind of want them to get married as soon as possible. But I do want them to have some sort of, like, wedding ceremony, whether it's at the house or something, because we do have the space, or whether it's, like, you know, anywhere, to be honest. I mean, we could even have it at the damn casino. Like, who cares? But, um... Yeah. All right, guys. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and let Basil do what it do. I'm going to speed on through a little bit, and I will meet you guys in the morning. All right, guys. So we're going to get Basil up. It's a little bit early this morning, and she's going to go ahead and uh, make some, I think, pancakes for the girls um, just because, well, that's what mamas do, and they are um, super duper 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 hungry, but they're still sleeping for just a few more minutes longer. Excuse all the thumping and stuff because I am adjusting myself right about now. Um, let's go ahead and see. I don't think she has any kind of like opportunities and she hasn't really been getting any jobs. And I do think maybe it's because she is pregnant. Um, and maybe that will come back after she has the baby, but I'm not 100% sure. I really like the house, actually. I was, like, looking at it, and I'm like, you know, it's such it's such a weird place. It's so much better than Trevino's house, I feel. Um, and, I don't know, I really like it. But we keep getting these damn little gnomes. Like, this one is super-duper creeper status. He's cute, though. He's a little, like, I don't know. He's a freezer bunny gnome. He's totally adorbs. He's not a creeper, Jen. All right, so let's go ahead and sell that. It is pouring Pouring, pouring, pouring rain. And I do believe there was another freezer bunny 
or something. Maybe not. All right, let's go back inside because, ooh, I got heck of clothes. I'm like, damn. Um, anyways, uh, let me see what I was going to say. Okay, ooh, wait. Donovan is looking pretty flat for a white guy. I know someone's going to say that's racist, but you know what? I want to say something. I want to say something here. Um, I was watching... A commercial. Actually, I don't ever watch TV. Like, actual TV. I usually watch Netflix or something else. So, yesterday, I was watching the American Music Awards. My girl, Iggy, wasn't that great. Not going to lie. But she did win an award against, I think, Drake and Eminem, which I think is pretty huge, to be honest. So, you know, cool, cool. Um, but anyways, that's primarily why I was watching it. And uh, so, what was I saying? I totally forgot. Oh, okay. So then during one of the commercials, I think it said something about there was a new show coming on like ABC or I don't know what it was, but the show's called Blackish. And it is about basically a whole bunch of hello, sir. Do you have like prego brain? Because you're going to like seriously start a freaking fire. Go attend your pancakes. Thanks. And bye bye. So anyways, it's like about, you know, um, a black family or whatever the case may be. And I just thought, like, you know, why is it that everyone's so racist? But it's usually the people of their own race, I've noticed, that are the most racist. And it's like, is it really okay to be racist against your own race? Isn't that a little hypocritical? Like, it may not even be racist, but be joking about your own race. Like, is it okay to joke? Like, if I call myself a cracker, I mean, you know, people would think it was, A, funny or offensive, but if it was either of those things, technically, it'd be acceptable because, hey, I'm white. But I don't think that's right or fair. I think that's hypocritical. Like, I can do it because I'm this race or I can do it because I'm this gender or because I'm this orientation, but you can't because you're not. I think that's the biggest, like, racial slur of the whole entire universe. I don't know if any of that made sense, but do you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I just feel like... There is so much um, hypo hypocrisy, <laughs> I can't talk right now, in the world that it is ridiculous. And it's often by the very people that are opposed to it. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It was just so weird. I was like, how are you about to name a show blackish? And then when somebody calls you, you know, black, not even meaning it in a bad way, you're going to get offended. You're going to get offended. But you're like, what? I don't mean, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, well, I guess the world is full of double, double standards. Got to get over it. Anyway, food for thought, I guess. <laughs> Sometimes I go on a tangent. But anyway, I don't know. Whatever. Um, let me see. Gosh, Basil, you're so boring when you're by yourself. What is this fritter doing here? It's just normally chill like a villain. Um, it's actually stopped. Or no, it's kind of lightening up. It's not raining as bad. I really want to get her out and doing something. So, I mean, if she went to the casino for a little bit, I would not be tripping. Um, but I also installed the board lock because I really want to take them there, take the family there. I think it'd be tons of fun um, to have the family go do something a little bit different. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just think this would be kind of cute. So I got this here. And I could actually delete this and put in the... Um, actual uh carousel or merry-go-round or whatever it's called because i do have the carnival in here too as well so the carnival is over here with the working uh carousel i don't know i think it'd be a lot of fun if these were kind of close together and that would be even better but it's fine it's totally cool all right so she's gonna eat finish cleaning up and poor our kids never got to eat um, Axton is now the father of a new baby boy. Alexandria just gave birth to a baby boy named Leo. They had another baby, you guys. And isn't that seriously so freaking exciting? Uh, let's, let's go check it out. So Axton had a little boy. His name's Leo. And then they have Ashana. Um, I do believe Corin was with this chick here. Um, Abriana. Um, and then Brady is with Jeannie. And who else? Dustin's with Cricket. And, okay, I think Easton actually got with a girl, too, named Tabby. But for some reason, she's not linked up here. So that's a little strange. So it's kind of weird to see everybody moving on in their lives. But let's get, um, let's get her to go do something. I don't know if she should go perform for tips or... 
or whatnot. Let's go see if there's anybody at the gym. Because um, if she performs her tips here, or performs in general, and kind of just works on her, um, there's like one person here. <laughs> Nobody cares about what they look like, I guess. Um, if she kind of does something, maybe it will help. So let's have her actually go here anyway. I know it's kind of random and what have you, but she definitely is really close to getting that promotion, and I'm kind of feeling like she's burnt out on it. She also wants to reach level four this in your career, so let me see how far we can get her in this part. Oh, I wanted to buy a new car. That was another thing I really wanted to do. Um, it's kind of boring when Basil is just by herself, so I'm, I'm, I'm slightly glad that She's going to go ahead and have this baby pretty soon. Another thing that I had mentioned in the description of my last video was that Basil is actually really not that freaking fond of um, of uh, Royce potentially coming into the family. She actually doesn't really want to take on that responsibility of somebody else's child. But gosh, how hypocritical, right? <laughs> Again, double. What, the, what is up with this umbrella? What is up with this umbrella? Do you see this? Do you see this? Do you see this? It's like the mystery umbrella. And it's following Vi Vivian. This is so strange. Do you see this? Anyways, um, like I was saying, um, I forgot. Uh, I don't know. I know that is so messed up to say that like she doesn't want to have Royce in the house. But, you know, Donovan really wants to be a part of Royce's life. And he accepted her children. I don't know why Basil wouldn't do the same. But again, Basil's always been not really a selfish sim or one for herself. Speaking of which, there's Marisol. Um, She hasn't really been... I mean, she's always been kind of a selfish sim. You know, like, I don't know how to explain it. I think that kind of came from... What? I don't know. She's a little dramatic, so maybe it's maybe it's because of that. I really couldn't even tell you. Um, there is an enemy near. <laughs> Could you imagine if she just, like, kind of, you know, decided to punch her in the face a little bit? I mean, you can't hit back. I mean, I am married after all. Well, I'm pregnant after all. So there's Marisol. Um, we don't like her at all. But I think Basil's going to take the higher route and not give in at all. Even though I kind of want her to. A little bit. Just a tidge. Who's this guy? Because he is extremely attractive. Let me see who this man is. Ooh, Taj. Mm -mm -mm. Your last name's like Daiwan? Taj Daiwan. I don't know, but we're going to go ahead and uh, try to give Lorena here uh, a little bit of a cheer up singer gram because she'd be looking she be looking a little blue these days. Um, Let me see here. All right. Come on. Like, can we please like get a little bit more job experience? I feel like this isn't. <gasps> oh, it's like barely freaking moving. I hate it. Where are all these sims popping up at? I feel like we're having some serious problems here. Um, let's perform one more great day real fast, which is hopefully gonna get us to um, to get us that full promotion there. And then I think the girls are actually over at the Science Center right now having a field trip. Donovan is working until about three o'clock or so. Hmm. All right, so he should be also getting a promotion. So let me see if we can have him chat with his partner for a little bit. And his partner is Kitty Price Gilbert. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she sings way better than I do, but let me just tell you. Um, okay, let me just go ahead and speed on through, add it up. Yep, we will definitely work on that. Okay, so I think Basil's gonna get this promotion. Oh, she did, dude. Awesome. Okay, so she is now on level three, and she's a talented amateur. Um, yeah, and she makes $400 a week, which is like pennies, to say the least. But now she has an opportunity to get better gigs. So we're going to go. We can't audition for the gig. Why not? Why not? Why not? Tell me about it. I want to know. Why? Because you're pregnant? That makes no sense. Maybe it is because she's pregnant, to be honest. Because it's not showing why she can't really perform for it. Um... Okay, well, Donovan, once he gets off, he's going to go to the gym. Um, I'm trying to figure this out. Let me see. Okay, sorry. My mom is here right now, and so is my child, and they are trying to get my attention, but I'm busy right now. Just give me a second. Okay. Everything's fine, though. Don't worry. But um, 
Yeah. I get so distracted when everyone's here. That's why I don't like filming when people are at my house. I just get so distracted. But I can't help it. Like, I just love filming sometimes. Anyway, let's just go get Mr. Don over here. Mr. Don. Don Juan. Um, over to La... Gym. The Golden Gymnasium. That way him and Basil can kind of work out together. And uh, if he does... He didn't get promotion. And why not? That's really strange, because he's like more than, in, in like, more than qualified for that promotion. So, that is a little odd that he didn't receive it. Um, I'm not gonna trip out about it, because hopefully he'll get it by tomorrow. Um, I'm just trying to figure out when Basil's gonna have this baby. She's actually working out right now. I don't know what would make her do that. Like. I don't know what's making her work out, but I mean, <laughs> why not let her go ahead and do it? Um, Alexandria is here, and she is looking flawless. I love her. She's so flippin' beautiful. Dawn is going to go ahead and pump up some weights. So let's go have him over here and uh, pump a little bit of iron. Then we'll do Don't Break a Sweat. Marisol is outside. I don't know what she's doing. Um, Let's go and talk to her really quick. The rain's kind of loud, but that's not a big deal. Is that her? Okay, so let me go ahead and be friendly um, and announce our engagement. I don't know how she's going to handle this, but we're going to just go ahead and do it anyway. She may either be really, really angry with Donovan or not. He's trying to keep a good relationship with Marisol. As you can see, they have a great relationship. Actually, he almost has as good of a relationship with her as he does his own wife or girlfriend or fiance. Um... I'm probably going to wait till Basil has the baby for her to get married because, I mean, not that she cares, but I'm pretty sure she doesn't want to get married in a wedding dress. Um, and I understand that. Marcel's actually happy for Dawn, and I totally appreciate that. See, she didn't deserve what happened to her. I hate to say it. She really, really, really didn't. But things happen, you know what I mean? And, and at the end of the day, if they can... Stay friends for the sake of their son, Royce. I think that would be amazing. Um, but, you know, right now they're kind of talking and stuff. And, you know, I kind of hope everything works out. I really do. I hope, they be I hope they remain good friends. So after a little chit-chat and Basil's probably outside, like, totally watching them right now. Yep, look at that. That's her view. <laughs> um, I wonder what she's gonna, what she thinks about this whole situation, but whatever. Um, as long as she doesn't go and try to beat somebody else. Beat somebody up. We're totally, we're totally good. Um, game is freezing here. Hold on. Okay. Let me go and have him pump up that iron now. Totally get away from her before Basil ends up stabbing this poor guy with his, her eyeballs. Oh my god, game. What are you doing? Alright, don't do anything crazy. Because I will end up severely punching somebody in the face here. I'm just kind of putting that out there. Aw, look at her face. She looks so sad about it. Oh my gosh. I mean, he is just... Oh my goodness, he is so cute. Alright, let's check out Royce. He is still pretty young, actually. And Marisol is still single, so... Who knows what will become of this situation. Uh, Basil, she is still definitely pregnant. Um, and she's kind of in a bad mood, which is really weird. She wants to go accuse um, this chick, Piper. Well, yeah, look at her. She's in high heels and underwear. I would accuse her of being a diva too. Don't really know what's crawled up um, Basil's culito this morning, but uh, apparently she's feeling all sorts of um, emotions, primarily probably jealousy. And what's the best way to kind of, you know, relinquish some of that negative energy by taking it out on innocent bystanders? Piper Sparks is a really good target for Basil right about now. Um, we're going to declare her a nemesis. I don't know. He's pregnancy hormones, man. <laughs> They're crazy. They cry. Trust me. I've been there. I know this. Um, I don't think they can actually fight physically, but Basil is just, I don't know. She's tearing up the town. Um... And then another person was like, oh, they need to be famous. They do. Um, they're on level one of the fame skill. So we're in fame level. If that is, um, is this Marcel right now? Um, yes, it is. And holy guacamole, might I add? Wow. 
wow. And I feel like she's totally trying to like make sidewards eye contact with Mr. Donovan here. Trying to win back her ex? I don't know. Um, let me go ahead and see. Are they mean, mad, whatever with each other? What is their relationship, Marisol and hers? I don't know. So yeah, they're total freaking enemies for sure. Um, Basil's going to go over here and play the jealousy card a little bit. And she is going to go and mock her appearance. I don't know what's going on, Basil. I think she's scared that Donovan's going to leave her and go back and go back with Marisol a little bit. And it could happen. We've already got her kids. You know, we don't need any more, to be honest. But Marisol thinks she's being really immature and thinks that it's in her best interest to take their love child and get somewhere else. Oh, ha. Huh. She is dealing it back to her. Ooh, girl, you are lucky I am pregnant. Okay, you are lucky. And I'm pregnant with your man's boy or grid or whatever. Whatever, baby. Sure, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet, so don't get excited. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, you may think you're all that in a bag of chips, Marisol, but guess what? <laughs> I got my hand in those chips. Just saying. Those chip bags. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm, girl. That's right. <laughs> I am not feeling feisty today. My headache is on point. And you're lucky. You're lucky I don't have the comeback. She's like, you think you're so buck smart? Well, guess what? <laughs> Yo, man, was at my house last night. Oh, this is going to be dramatic. I can already see this. <laughs> girl, you need to go touch down somewhere else, okay? Because <laughs> the eagle has landed. I'm just playing. Okay. This is getting way too serious. They are so lucky that we can't, like, kick her butt right now. Okay, you guys hate each other enough. Just deal, okay? What are you doing? He's just, like, over here totally working out. No big deal. Um, we are going to go and uh, take wifey or take girlfriend or whatever. And uh, I'm going to see if we can try to calm her down a little bit. I don't think it works the same way as it does um, in, in the uh, Sims 4. But, whew, things are getting a little intense. Uh... I would definitely say they're getting intense. So we're going to have her go. We're just going to leave with her. We're going to take her home because this is just getting way too escalated. And you know what? She doesn't need the stress in her life. And um, I don't know what Basil's problem is. Usually Basil's pretty pretty decent in the way that she acts. Today she was just all out of sorts. And I definitely think, to be honest, like all jokes aside, I definitely think it has to do with the fact that she's afraid of losing Donovan. And it's her own insecurities that are really and possibly could ruin, ruin, ruin the relationship with her and Donovan. Um, and, you know, like I said, we don't need her to be with him. I mean, we have our girls. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, we already have, like, the third generation, so I'm not even, I'm not even tripping. So she better watch herself. Um, Charlie got loose. Oh, my God, Charlie. And ran into the world. You should have kept an eye out on him. Oh, my goodness. Are you serious right now, Charlie? Ugh, I can't yell. But I really want to. Okay, so now we have to go freaking find our damn pet turtle man. Um, and we have a cat, so that's just fabulous. Let me see. Spooked. Okay, where the hell is the turtle? Do you guys see the turtle? I don't see the turtle. I think Charlie got loose probably at the gym seriously our luck freaking with amphibians i'm telling you it's the worst it's absolute worst freaking humberto got no is it humberto no humberto got loose same thing he freaking wandered away don't know where humberto is um sylvester i believe was his name got killed murdered by our cat and now Donovan lost Charlie. Oh my gosh. All right, let's just go back to the gym really quick. I need to end this part right here, but I do want to know where the hell we lost our freaking pet turtle. Dude, seriously. Okay, I think I think Charlie's a lost cause, but we're going to go ahead and try one more time here just to see if we see him anywhere around here. <laughs> Has anybody seen my pet turtle? I'm just curious. Oh my goodness. Ah, I'm gonna scream. Ah, all right. Well, I guess Charlie's gone, dudes. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end this part. I thought Basil would have her baby by now, but it doesn't look like she's actually going to have it in this part. I think she's holding out on us, but for sure, for sure, for sure. Next part, 
she'll definitely be having her baby I would assume so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is end this part right here I want to thank you guys so much for watching I am sorry for the lack of enthusiasm I'm not feeling too hot to trot today um I don't know if I will be able to pre-film any more videos but if not you'll definitely see me on Friday so don't fret um and yeah don't forget to go ahead and comment rate and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and I will see you all <laughs> next time Thank you.